Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our media commentary. Today from our studio in Berlin, we are addressing the development of the peace negotiation for Syria. The American Secretary of State, John Kerry, opened the conference by sharply criticizing the use of torture and for this reason excluded President Assad from participation in a possible transition government in Syria. Aside from the fact that there is no irrefutable evidence justifying these torture accusations, one should expect, in view of these clear words from the USA, that they follow these principles themselves. However, this is regrettably not the case with respect to torture. The Pentagon was forced to admit in investigative reports that prison camps in Iraq had repeatedly used torture. According to these military reports, the prisoners were sexually abused, Dogs were used to bite prisoners, children were raped in front of the eyes of their parents, people were brought into contact with acid-dripping objects. The permanent human rights violations in the US prison Guantanamo on Cuba are a common knowledge. Also, in Afghanistan, torture was part of the daily program of US troops. Here, prisoners reported that they were locked in for months in total darkness forced to be extremely loud music around the clock. Others were locked into cages in groups, not allowed to speak with each other and had to stand up for controls every two hours. Many of these prisoners had been imprisoned for years without being charged or given a trial. The US prison Begrim in Afghanistan became notorious in 2002 when two prisoners were hung from the ceiling and so brutally beaten that they died. These tortures were not just offenses committed by a few sadistic prison guards. Rather, these practices were approved of and backed up by the highest levels of US administration. Tactics like ongoing deprivation of sleep as well as so-called waterboarding where a prisoner is forced underwater so long that he thinks he's drowning were legal under the Bush administration. Both Alberto Gonzalez and Michael Shertoff, ministers at that time, authored reports wherein torture to the point of death was deemed acceptable. In light of this shocking background, we must conclude that the USA themselves do not comply with the standards that Secretary of State Kerry imposed on the Assad administration. So we ask, why have the members of the Bush administration responsible for these horrible deeds not been taken to court and prosecuted? Why has US President Obama, after more than six years in office, not closed down Guantanamo as he had promised before his first election? With these questions, we'll close for today in the hopes of welcoming you with us again tomorrow.